In this video, we will discuss the different types of fiber optic cable and their connection to speed and distance. This information will help you choose the right fiber optic cable based on your present and future needs. Fiber optic strands are made up of two main components, consisting of the core and the cladding. The function of the core is to transmit the light, whereas the cladding's function is to reflect the light and keep it contained within and to propagate the light through the fiber. What do the fiber terms 62.5 over 125, 50 over 125, and 9 over 125 refer to? These terms refer to the diameter of microns of a fiber optic cable's core and cladding. Together, they are roughly the diameter of a human hair. The second set of numbers, 125, refer to the diameter of the outside of the fiber cable's cladding. As for the types of fiber optic cabling, there are two, multimode and single mode. In general, multimode cables are used for local area networks, whereas single mode cables are normally used for much longer distances. The core for single mode cable, also known as 9 over 125, is much smaller than multimode. This is because single mode cable requires a very small core to transmit its laser light. But multimode cables come in two different fiber cores. 62.5 over 125 refers to multimode OM1 fiber cable, and 50 over 125 refers to OM2, OM3, OM4, and OM5 fiber cable. But how do all these fiber cores match up against each other in terms of speed versus distance? OM1, or 62.5 over 125 fiber, is the largest fiber core. Therefore, the light has more time to bounce around or reflect, and it takes longer for it to reach the endpoint. OM1 fiber supports 1 gigabyte Ethernet to 275 meters and can support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 33 meters. As you can see, OM1 fiber is not the best choice for a 10 gig network as it has the lowest data carrying capacity and shortest distance limitations. OM2 fiber is in the 50 over 125 classification, but is more in line with OM1 fiber in terms of speed and distance. OM2 fiber can support 1 gigabyte Ethernet up to 550 meters, but can only support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 82 meters. With the advance of OM3 fiber, OM2 has become essentially phased out in the industry. OM3 is usually just referred to as 10 gig, since it's generally the best choice for 10 gigabyte Ethernet multimode fiber. OM3 was designed specifically for that purpose. OM3 fiber can support 1 gigabyte Ethernet up to 550 meters and can support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 300 meters. In addition, it can also support 40 gig up to 100 meters and 100 gig up to 70 meters. OM4 fiber is backwards compatible with OM3 fiber and was developed for VIXEL laser transmission. OM4 fiber can support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 550 meters and it can also support 40 and 100 gig up to 150 meters. OM5 fiber, also known as SWDM or Shortwave Wavelength Division Multiplexing Fiber, is downwards compatible with OM4 fiber and has the ability to use four wavelengths across the 850 to 950 nanometer range. But for comparative purposes, as a single signal, OM5 fiber can support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 550 meters, and it can also support 40 and 100 gig up to 150 meters. Single mode fiber has the smallest fiber core, and therefore there is less room for the light to reflect and has less attenuation. Single mode fiber can transmit light at much longer distances, but OM3, OM4, and OM5 multimode fiber supports a higher data rates. Single mode fiber can support 1 gigabyte Ethernet up to 5 kilometers, and it can also support 10 gigabyte Ethernet up to 10 kilometers. As we can see, the fiber type and the distance of the run all play an important factor in the overall speed. But one important thing to note is that you will only be as fast as your weakest link. However, future-proofing your network is always a good idea, so when all the other factors become a possibility, 
your fiber backbone will be ready. Visit our website to learn more or to check out our pre-terminated fiber optic assemblies, which are custom made in the USA to your exact specifications with fast lead times.